In this video, I'm going to show you a recipe for making shrimp paella, which I cooked in my cast iron skillet for Easter dinner. Here are the ingredients. You'll need nine garlic cloves, minced, basically one whole garlic, chorizo sausage cut lengthwise and then cut into one fourth inches thick slices, a one onion chopped fine, one red bell pepper chopped fine, one point two five cups of Valencia or Arborio rice, 0.5 teaspoons of saffron. This gives the flavor to the paella. Uh, 2.25 cups of chicken broth. Frozen peas. Diced tomatoes. You need 14 ounce can. Uh, this was a bigger can, so I used half of it. Uh, 0.25 cups of white wine. And then I'm going to be using shrimp. For um, the paella, start off by peeling the shrimp and then cooking the shrimp with garlic and olive oil or vegetable oil in the skillet. Uh, this will allow the oil to absorb all the flavor of the garlic and the shrimp and then set aside the shrimp so that you can start making the ingredients of the paella. Uh, with the garlic and olive oil on the skillet, I've got it on medium heat. I'm adding the chorizo, the peppers, and the onions. And I'm also seasoning it with about 0.25 teaspoons of salt. You cook uh, the vegetables, uh, you cook until the vegetables are softened. It takes about five minutes. Then I stir in the rice, the saffron, and any remaining garlic. And I cook until it's fragrant, about 30 seconds. Here's the saffron. Then you stir in the tomatoes and cook everything until the mixture begins to darken and th thicken slightly, about three minutes. After three minutes is up, stir in the broth and the white wine, and then you mix everything up. Try, you know, while you're mixing it up, try to make sure all the liquids are absorbed by the food and scrape up any brown bits at the bottom of the pan and bring everything to a simmer. You should simmer it for about 15 minutes so that the rice will start to absorb uh, the liquid and the rice uh, is al dente or you know, basically cooked rice. And at the end, uh, you can add the shrimp and the frozen peas and cook it for an additional five minutes on top of the 15 that I mentioned. And once it's done, just serve it immediately. You might want to add some lemon wedges on the side. This dish was delicious and my family loved it. Uh, I only used shrimp because we had another chicken dish that was going to be served. But you can modify the recipe with chicken and mussels. I'm going to show that in the description. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click like, comment, or subscribe. I have other cooking videos on my cooking playlist on my channel. If you have any tips on how to cook paella, please include them in the comments below. Thanks.